Yo, what is happening traders? What is happening traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back. So in this video, I wanted to sort of like update you guys on uh, what I actually decided to put my money at. Remember, I actually released a video. I think it was two months back or three months back. And I was like, yo, I'm failing to use my money properly because I don't have like that much knowledge when it comes into this investing thing and into this assets thing, you know, and stuff like that. So you know i've been accumulating some assets and unfortunately i cannot um mention what those assets are since i just want to keep it some sort of like a secret right now but you know 90 percent of my of my net worth is in this one asset that i've been actually um putting my money in so you know i just wanted to take you guys on a journey with, with me i don't want to be one of those traders where you just see them out of the blue boom they now have millions bloom they now have this and that they now have this kind of i wanna I, I i need you guys to actually see me where i actually started i need my videos to actually age so well the main aim of this is to actually inspire a lot of you guys the main aim is to motivate a lot of you guys so you know I, i'm not that guy that's going to pop up and you know all of a sudden i now have this i now have that that mention no no you know i i wanna be as transparent as i can with you guys and plus i feel like i wanna be different bro like i really i really wanna be this young boy that actually inspires a lot of people i know that um you know i'm remember i'm from i'm from a small country called swaziland or swatin it's just a small country next to south africa right and uh, you know not a lot of people are actually you know they are a lot of forex traders but i feel like they don't have that much inspiration right they don't have that much inspiration and for me it's like I just wanna be different bro do my own thing that is why you will never ever um hear me say uh that yo i now trade with that person and i know i'm doing my own stuff bro i'm doing my own stuff you know so at the end of the day i just wanna give hope to a lot of traders i wanna give hope to a lot of traders i want them to see that um in this industry you actually start small right you don't just get into this industry and then all of a sudden you actually have this you actually have that no you don't do that so and um, that's my update guys um so apparently i've been accumulating this one asset probably in, probably in the near future i'm going to be able to actually reveal it but 90 percent of my net worth is actually um in that asset right so I'm just trying to be as, as transparent and as genuine as I can to you guys. You know, I'm not trying, you know, I, I don't want to sell you guys a fake dream. That is why I hate living a life that is not mine. That is why I actually said to you guys that it wouldn't make sense for me to go out and rent a Lamborghini or to go out and, uh, you know, and rent that uh, and rent hotels, expensive hotels, just to make you guys think that i'm actually there at the top maybe just to make you guys think that i actually have those millions no i, I don't need that i'm not one of those uh, I, i'm not one of those traders who you are going to see uh, carrying stashes of money and saying yo we are trading bro we, we are killing it you know we have, we've no nah, i'm not uh, i'm not that kind of guy bro you know i just want to be transparent i just want to be real i want to be different bro like i want to be different from the rest since this industry it's like and i see people i see them you know expensive booze alcohol money expensive clothes and so that's how polluted this industry is and for me bro it's like i just wanna be me you see i just wanna be me bro i i, I wanna be transparent as much as possible to a lot of people remember I really want to inspire a lot of young traders out there, bro. So I'm hoping that my viewers are going to age so well, bro. Like in the coming two, two, two years or in the coming three years when I look back and see where I'm actually at right now. Now, remember what, what I said about, you know, like a lot of people would actually ask me, like, do you have money and stuff like that? And my answer to that kind of question is... um bro right now i only have um you know enough money to take care of myself and you know i'm actually better than i was three years ago like where i am right now i'm actually better than i was three years ago and in the next three years i'm going 
to be better than I am right now. So for me, it's all about, you know, going cons consistently up nice and slowly. Because, you know, if, if, if you're going to go up, you know, you go, if you're going to go up at a maximum speed, you're going to crash, um, obviously. So, you know, um, I'm just, you know, trying to, to be transparent, guys. And I need you all to actually understand that um, sometimes what you see in the internet is not um, what, what, what really is, right? Sometimes, they're, they're, you see, I, I don't really understand why forex trading is not treated like a decent job whereby bro you earn maybe say 5k or 10k and then you know as time goes on you get a promotion right so that's the same thing that actually happens so you start with a, with a small account you consistently grow it you consistently grow it you consistently grow it till you actually have a big account big enough for you to actually afford these hotels that you actually would want to rent or for you to actually afford this boost but you know <laughs> I just see some people popping out, boom, carrying stashes of money, and I'm like, yo, I don't know, man, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but I feel like I just don't want to be that guy, bro. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, my guy, like, I don't really want to be that guy, I want to be this decent young kid who's doing his own thing, who started from the bottom, who is slowly making his way to the top, right? And, uh, you know, like I said, take the money that you actually make in Forex, you, 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 you actually invest it, and then you triple it or double it or do whatever, right? And then you can then, you know, use that money that you've actually gotten from that investment. So when I started to trade, bro, I was a little bit careless, bro, with my money, right? I remember I used to buy um a lot of sneakers bro i used to buy a lot of sneakers and i used to eat out a lot even now that's that I, i'm not going to say I've, I've actually defeated that um that bad habit even now bro it's it's hard for me to cook um i find myself buying this i find myself buying that but you know i'm i'm just trying to work on that you know, i'm just trying to to cook right now i'm from the gym and then i'm going to i'm going to head back to my flat and then you know take a breather rest probably bath and then try and cook and then probably look at my charts so it's hard for me to cook and uh that's just how it is i eat out a lot i eat a lot of junk stuff not necessarily junk but you know that's one of the things uh, that's one of the things that actually make me wish I had a girlfriend and stuff like that. It's eating, doing laundry. Yeah, some like that, bro. So yeah, guys, um, keep on pushing, keep on doing your stuff. Remember that you don't have, don't be pressurized by people, right? Do your own stuff. If you make one US dollars, there is your one US dollars. A lot of people actually would have blew their account, but you would have actually made one US dollar so start your own thing start your own trading journey do not care what anybody else is actually doing right don't feel pressure don't feel like uh you're actually losing out in the forex market make sure that you trade your high probability trade set types and also also very important one make sure that you look out for your loved ones because the streets is taking them fast make sure that you take care of your parents Make sure that you look out for your mom, you look out for your dad, you look out for your brothers and sisters, just for you to actually get those extra blessings, right? Just for God to actually give you those extra blessings for, and then, you know, everything is going to somehow work out for you. And lastly, try living a simple life, bro. Like I said, simple life, simple life, simple. Like for me, bro, if I'm not at the gym, I'm actually at my flat simple you don't see me hanging out with nobody because i don't really have the time to do that bro i don't really have the time to actually make friends right now what's the benefit of having 10 friends doesn't really make sense right so prefer being alone being focused protect your energy protect your peace try not be available too much because your value as a person is going to sort of like drop right so even if they call you yo let's hook up bro 
just be unaccessible for you for, for some time so that you know people can sort of like see the value in you bro so keep growing keep studying the markets do not think that you need anyone in this industry right keep pushing yeah see you in the next video